Okay, here we are back with the Cross Suez. It is now turn five, and it's the Israeli player turn. This is the situation before the Israeli player movement and combat declaration. You'll notice that there are quite a few olive colored units on the board, and there are very few khaki colored units on the board. Um, this does not bode well for the Egyptian player. Um, so I'm kind of between a rock and a sand dune here. Um, we'll see how this turn progresses, but I think this is going to be probably the final turn in which the Egyptian player has any chance at all of cutting the east-west road leading to the canal, so um, I think we're getting really close to the end here, and I'll come back after the Israeli player movement. And this is the position of the Israeli units after the Israeli turn five player turn movement phase. Um, he has positioned his units. Um, he's going to block my reinforcement entry over here, thus preventing me from uh, blocking the east-west road or um, getting anywhere close to the bridge. He's also pocketed these units here, um, still preventing me from getting to the road or to the bridge. And he's also um, surrounded that unit, and it is probably not going to uh, be around much longer. So, anyway, we are going to go and find out what his orders are for combats, and I will be back, be back with the results of the Israeli combat phase of turn five. Not looking good, folks. For the Egyptian player. Okay, here we are back with the end of the Israeli player turn of game turn five. He had a couple of successful attacks this turn. Okay, um, he had a lot of successful attacks this turn. This is the current um, Egyptian dead pile from just uh, this turn alone. And I have, um, well, I guess I have one unit on the board right here. The 2nd Brigade of the, or 2nd Regiment of the 23rd uh, Tank Division. And that's pretty much all he has left me on the board. So, the road is open, the bridge is in place. Uh, there's nothing I can do to contest either one of those. I have a few reinforcements coming in here, just off the board. However, he has positioned units here to uh, make it uh, nearly impossible for me to make any progress up the road to block it. And with uh, three more movement uh, phases of mine and his, I don't think I stand a whole lot of chance of preventing him from achieving his victory conditions. He needs only three more units off, uh, in, off into the Suez box to win. Uh, and a clear line of communication back to this X, which you can't see, I guess. Um, that would be the C to uh, win the game. So I will probably concede the game after my turn. I just basically want to see what happens down here. If I can at least push one of his uh, reinforcement units back, I would be great. Uh, grateful, but if not, and we have, like I say, this tank uh, regiment will, um, hmm, he'll probably just uh, fall back. Otherwise, um, the Israeli player has shattered the 16th uh, motor rifle division, and he has all but, uh, well, he has wiped out the 14th armored. Um, and all I have is this one little, uh, group over here, the 
25th uh, armored. So, anyway, this game is going to be over. Like I said, I'll probably concede after this turn. But it's been a fun game. My opponent has... Um, is very, very tough. He uh, knows the game very well and has um, performed and exceeded uh, all expectations. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do my turn and we'll see what happens. The nice thing is I don't have very many units that I have to plot for. I think maybe two. So, with that said, I will return with the last part of the game. And then I think we may switch games, or switch sides, and I'll play the Israelis, and he will play the Egyptians. Um, but I'll let you know when that time comes. So, probably one more video, and we're done with those. Well, at the end of game turn five, um, I went ahead and conceded to my opponent congratulated him on his win as you can see there are very few okay there are no Egyptian units actually on the map uh, my attempt to reinforce uh, bring out reinforcements over here um, failed uh, spectacularly when I rolled an attacker retreat nowhere to go so he died and let's see, my first attack was over here, and that was a wonderful six, um, die roll of a six, which was an attacker eliminated. And let's see, I think that was pretty much it. I did try to bombard the Karen one and the Baram one, but I rolled a four on both of those, so nothing much came of that. So, um, that's pretty much the game. Game ends on turn 5 with an Israeli victory. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go for a rematch right now or we'll try something different. But anyway, that's the game. And I had a lot of fun. And I hope my opponent did also. And I guess we will catch you later. Thanks. Bye.